Farm News Media presents Farm News 5. Secretary of Agriculture Sonny Perdue makes his first official visit to the state. It's kind of a joke that says if you want to know what a farmer thinks, ask him. If you don't want to know what he thinks, ask him. You know, so uh, you're, you're keen to tell us there. So uh, uh, it's your time to talk about uh, where we need to go, things we need to do, the kind of things you want to see on farmers.gov that can make a difference. The CWD Working Group makes deer recommendations, and Michigan Ag Commodities' Chris Betts has a look at market activity. I'm Janelle Bros, and this is Farm News 5. Farm News 5 is brought to you by Ford. When you talk about infrastructure, one of the tenets of infrastructure is this permitting process we've had that goes on 7, 8, 10, 12, 15 years. And his goal is, if you listen, to cut that down to under two years, even less with a one-stop shop type of permitting with a lead agency. We need to be doing that in ag technology as well, not having this sequential, uh, you go here, 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 and here. That's Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue talking about President Trump's State of the Union address. Perdue made those remarks during his first official visit to Michigan earlier this week. While in the state, Purdue's first stop of many on the day was Robinette's Apple House and Winery in Kent County, where he unveiled a new USDA website called Farmers.gov. It ought to be the portal to everything a producing farmer needs to know, any information where their farm service agency can be located. We want it to be a dynamic website where we respond to farmers over the questions they have, where they can go one spot and click and find the information they need. Purdue also addressed concerns that slow-moving NAFTA renegotiations are leading other countries, like Mexico and Canada in particular, to look for other sources of commodities, including corn, wheat, soybeans, and pork. If you're a customer like Canada and Mexico, you're going to look for other alternatives if there's the anxiety of a trade disruption. Frankly, though, uh, no other country can compete logistically with what we do here in America to our Canadian customers and our Mexican customers. We've got uh, the logistics, we've got the highways, the railways to get into the interior of those markets and uh, frankly we've got the corner store location on the Canadian and Mexican. Uh, there's no doubt that they may try to source from other places. We don't believe those will be competitive. We think that's just conversation uh, there in, in light of the anxiety over the uh, NAFTA negotiations. A working group is suggesting five steps to help curb the spread of chronic wasting disease among Michigan's deer herd. The steps include better communication with the public, how the state is trying to stop the spread of CWD, work with other states to secure federal, state, and even private funding to fight CWD, assess the effectiveness of privately owned cervid facilities, continue to use science-based management plans, and to reinstate a nearly 20-year-old plan to ban feeding and baiting and to consider a statewide ban on the sale of agriculture commodities for deer bait. The Natural Resources Commission will review the recommendations before acting ahead of the 2018 hunting season. We cover Michigan. We cover trip and falls to falling limbs, big bucks and large trucks, from small startups to big business, and from cream to corn. Yep, we cover Michigan because we're Michigan's insurance company. Solar energy developers are actively contacting farm owners in an effort to secure land for solar energy projects. MSU Extension and Michigan Farm Bureau are teaming up to educate farmers on these opportunities with a series of informational meetings across the state next month. Speakers will address the renewable energy landscape, nuances of solar leases, zoning considerations, and accompanying tax implications. Registration is required by March 4th. Find a meeting near you and register at events.anr.msu.edu. With a look at the latest market activity, here is Michigan Ag Commodities' Chris Betts. Thanks, Janelle. Grains are benefiting from the lower dollar relative to other currencies. A further slide to new lows since mid-December of 2014 will continue to lend support. Fund short covering has been key to the recent move, especially for corn and wheat. Should support levels hold, this group will be encouraged to offset short positions and perhaps add new longs as new funds come to the table. Soybeans have also benefited from short covering, as well as new bullish bets on persisting dryness in Argentina. A drawback this week was largely chart-driven, 
We could see the pendulum swing back to the positive next week, again, should technical support hold through the weekend. For more market information, go to michigan.com. With Michigan Agricultural Commodities, I'm Chris Betts. For more news and video, visit michiganfarmnews.com and the Michigan Farm News Channel on YouTube. With Farm News 5, I'm Janelle Bros. Have a great week of farming.